Hi guys, Dwayne Duxon here with this week's What's Hot report for Farm Tender. Now since our last report we've had a decent dumping of rain in southern Queensland, well parts of southern Queensland, and also fingers crossed, it looks as though there might be some rain for the south, uh, Victoria, South Australia, parts of New South Wales and Tassie. Uh, mid to late this week. So let's hope that all comes to fruition. It was a broken week last week, so we couldn't get any real ideas of trends with the Anzac Day holiday and Easter, of course. Uh, the Mercado, but Mercado report, there was limited sheep and lamb sales, but Merino lambs gained 29 cents last week. And don't forget, we put out our hay report last week. Uh, we, that goes in our Prime Ag News section, so check that out for the hay report. Now we led with the headline, buy now because there may not be a later. So what it is, is we're finding it very hard to find hay and demand is outstripping supply at the moment. Also in our Prime Ag News, we had an article on uh, the insolvencies in the grain trade system. So since 2000, there's been 155 million lost in grain trade insolvencies, so that's significant. A bit of a what's happening at Farm Tender at the moment. So we're just about to put on a new guy, Robbie McKenzie, who will be our business development manager. And he's going to ignite our auction system. We've been talking about this internally for a long time, but we've never really done anything about it now. And Robbie spent eight or nine years in the US in the auction system over there. So hopefully Robbie can get all that going for us. And also he'll be in part of the Prime Ag Centre, uh, not necessarily... Uh, based from there, but he'll be uh, involved in the sourcing and selling at the Prime Ag, Set, Ag Centre and also he may get involved in some group slash um, bulk buying for our PMMs. Also Bonnie Kenner, the youngest uh, by far member of our team, has moved from Elmore to Myrtleford, so she's up there in the northeast now. Um, we're just about to release a standalone uh, website for delay pay as well. So that'll be out in the next week or so. And also our uh, tech guy, Chart, has been working very hard on the, uh, getting our new app out, which hopefully will, won't be too far away. It's a significant up, update from what we had it before. So Now in the machinery and equipment side, we added a Daydong tractor for 20k plus GST, a 10 row John Shearer disc drill for 9 plus GST, an Ophi triaxle trailer for 45 plus GST, a 40 plate Grizzly offset discs for 8 plus GST, a John Deere 930D front for 19 plus G, a Coon speed disc for 18 plus G, and that's just a bit of a snapshot of machinery and equipment sales. So go to farmtender.com.au and we'll catch you next week and hopefully we get that rain that's forecast. Have a great week farming. End of message.